the religion of Islam definitely, certainly has a lot in common with the other two Abrahamic faiths, Judaism and Christianity. In terms of ethics, Islam and Christianity have a lot in common. And so the practitioners, that is the Christian and the Muslim, can actually work together as defined by their scriptures. However, there is a basic difference in our understanding of God. Islam holds firmly to the oneness of God, like the Bible, like Christianity. However, the Christian Bible explains this one God in terms of the Trinity. It is not acceptable to the Muslim because his scripture does not. In fact, his scripture is against uh, adding partners to God. So in terms of doctrine, we differ. But what I say, and I say this to all watching and listening to this uh, program, what I say is this. We have one God. And whether you are Christian, a Jew, or a Muslim, we are all worshiping this one God, albeit differently. I, as a Christian, accept this one God as Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Muslim does not understand that, and it doesn't make sense to him. But he or she also believes in this one God. Let our belief in this one God, therefore, inform our relationship. Because both the Quran and the Hadith and the Bible affirm that all human beings descend from same parents, Adam and Eve. You have that in the Quran. You have it in the, you have it in the Bible. So if we are descendants, if we are from the same parents, why are we different? Let us take the fact that we are all descendants of, one parent, of the same parents and we all believe in this one God, even though we understand him separate, differently, let us take these two and work together for peace. Let me say this as uh, an encouragement to the Muslim who is watching and listening to the Christian. It is wrong to say all Muslims are terrorists. And for the Muslim, it is wrong to say the Christian is worshipping three gods. No, we're not worshipping three gods. We're worshipping the same God, one God, but we worship him as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And that does not mean there are three gods. There is just one God. It is our, uh, our experience of this God that gave birth to this concept of the Trinity. So respect us while we respect you. And my dear Christian uh, listener, uh, don't see every Muslim as a potential terrorist. And the Muslim too, don't see every Christian as a potential terrorist. We have terrorists in every religion, especially Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, because these three religions have scriptures. And it is uh, one of the downside of scripture is that it, uh, it has the tendency to be interpreted the way it suits the practitioner.